Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you something that I think all dog owners should see and it's all about reactive dogs or dogs who just react. What I want you guys to watch now is a video that I had with a couple, uh, that uh, client. They have a really great dog. I love this dog. He's one of the biggest pit bulls I've ever seen. Um, he's amazing. He's all good. And they think he's reactive. So I had to talk to them and explain to them that not every dog that barks at another dog is a reactive dog. So at the end of this video, there is a very important lesson. I mean, if you're a dog owner, if you're not, do whatever you want. But if you are a dog owner or a new dog owner or a dog owner who thinks the dog is reactive or has any issues, you should definitely watch the, the end of this video. I'll see you at the end. If you guys walk and some other dog uh, in another place, another building, house behind the gate not behind the gate starts to bark at him obviously he wants to go to the dog so dogs are extremely uh, impulse animals when a dog wants to do something he does they just do it yeah. immediately I want to sniff I sniff I want to jump I jump I want to do it they just do it he will just go straight. No heckles, no nothing. The ears are, everything is good. Reactive is when immediately they get like focused on that. There's nothing else. They see tunnel vision to that. Heckles are up. Ears are different. Mouth is closed. His mouth is open. Open mouth, happy dog. Closed mouth, move away. So he's not a reactive dog, he's a dog. He wants to go and play, but we have the leash, so we don't let him, he gets frustrated. So we can't tell the dog, uh, you're a bad dog or you're doing something bad because you react to an, a bad dog behavior. Now, that dog barks at him from behind the gate and that's communication. So he barks at the, the other dog. They actually exchange words just like you and I do right now. But they bark instead of it. When that reactivity and he goes and start barking at other dogs uh, behind the gate, your frustration gets into him, adds to his physical frustration, to more mental frustration, and that's when he starts to redirect his frustration to you. So he will start trying to control him, trying to tell him, no, no, you pull him, and then he will be rough. Again, he's not supposed to do it, but black and white, there's nothing else he can do. The only thing you can expect if you hear, if you walk next to a house with a barking dog, the only thing you can expect is that your dog will react some way to that. If you know that you actually train your dog every day, you exercise your dog every day, you play with your dog every day, your dog should not react to every dog that they pass or they get barked at. Why? Because they're not stressed, their energies are not packed inside and have nowhere else to go and you taught your dog that you are the leader and you can handle danger and your dog doesn't need to protect you. That's the biggest issue. Once you train your dog and you have the respect and trust from your dog, your dog knows that you're the leader. Your dog knows that there's no reason for the dog to actually save you from whatever danger there is, like a different dog. So, every day, play with your dog, train your dog, exercise your dog. You don't have to do it two hours a day, 
You can do it five or 10 minutes, but do it every day.